welcome to Makoto's kitchen. So today we are making beef stew without any powdered soups, without sauces. Okay, let's get started. So I started by just uh, frying my onion. I am using normal olive oil. I always use olive oil. I'm doing this on medium to high heat. Okay, I then added some garlic. I love the, 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 the smell of garlic. I love the aroma. It's just so beautiful. Before I added my spices, I am adding my favorite spice, uh, mother-in-law spice and curry powder i'm using the medium raja as my curry today simply because i don't want my stew to be too hot but i want it to have that beautiful rich aroma once done i added my meat i washed my meat first um, then added it into the pan mixed everything together ensuring that the spice actually coats my meat quite nicely um, as you can see I then added two bay leaves as well it gives it such a beautiful tang and aroma before I added my water now remember when you're adding your water just ensure that your water covers your meat completely this allows your your meat to cook nicely I love my meat nice and tender so make sure that it covers completely while you're cooking on medium heat before I covered I added one beef stock, just one cube, and some salt and pepper to, um, to my meat, and then mixed everything together before I cover it to let it simmer. I'm gonna let it simmer for a couple of minutes until it's got like very little water okay now that i'm done with that as you can see um the water is not as much as it was i am adding normal chopped tomatoes you want to make sure that your tomatoes are chopped because this is how you're going to get your stew to be nice and thick at the end okay i'm mixing everything together i'm now going to add my potatoes and i'm deciding to add carrots as well you are more than welcome to add whatever veggies you want or whatever veggies you prefer all right okay i just love it when i add potatoes and um carrots so i'm mixing everything together and i'm gonna let this simmer again um okay i'm just gonna cover my pot and let it simmer once more Okay, now that I'm done with that, um, I'm just going to mix everything together, taste my stew to see if I need to add anything else, if I need more seasoning, if I need more salt, if I need more curry, but I'm deciding right at the end, I'm going to add my curry powder again. Believe you me, don't skip the step if you want that beautiful, beautiful curry stew that is not hot it doesn't taste like curry and it's not hot enough to be curry but it just gives it that beautiful beautiful aroma and taste i then add my bell peppers right at the end i'm only using green and yellow today because that's what i had in my fridge but it gives it a beautiful aroma add this at the end to make sure that you get that beautiful aroma that beautiful taste while you're also getting a beautiful beautiful taste from the curry as well okay right at the end i also added a little bit of tomato paste just to give it a, a tomato zing if i can put it like that and let it simmer again and done so i am serving mine today with rice i just cooked normal rice and i added a little bit of peas just to get that beautiful color as you can see this stew looks amazing and of course makoti serving her stew with homemade beetroot this looks amazing this is such a beautiful meal i hope you enjoy it look how pretty it's delicious <laughs> enjoy <laughs>